back to Team Castle Universe. So today, we're gonna have some fun looking at some of my old clothes now. Fire when the strong hits you. That's it, Brian? It's been an amazing journey. I've been so grateful to, to share my experiences with you guys. One of the challenges and things that I talk a lot about is that my clothes no longer fit me. So today, as we go through all my clothes, as you can see, this is one of my suits that the picture will post right now. That's how tight it was on me. But now if you can see here, I have a good like foot space in this suit. I put a whole other suit underneath this one. It's insane, so I hope you guys enjoy as I kind of do this little mini fashion show before and afters, one year span, the difference that you guys can do for yourself, just like I did for me. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. Guys, this is one of my three-piece suits that I have. Now, I have a whole suit underneath this one as well, but there's a good fist space in between the jacket. It's starting to get a little frumpy in the front panels here. Uh, another example is the vest. The vest is no longer going to be able to fit me. I tried to even ask it some of these tailors, tailored, but you just can't fix some of this stuff. This material is just way too baggy. Again, I'm going to post some pictures right now of what these suits look like. You can see my belly is about to pop through this vest. The shirt's just busting at the seams. And man, it's crazy to think now, the insanity that I went through to, to lose all this stuff, but it was so worth it. Now, as we, I'm gonna move on to the, the pants. I'm wearing my other pants underneath these ones. If you guys take a look, I actually have a pair of pants actually underneath these pants. <laughs> so, there's the first one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. All right guys, this is another suit of mine. This one I love for the summertime. It's light, it's lighter color, so you can mix it up with more like a light shirt underneath. But as you can tell, I can't wear it no more. So again, the panels are just huge. Um, these are probably unfixable at this point for the amount of money I paid for them. Um, I still like them a lot. It's just, I don't feel comfortable in it anymore. I feel like I'm swimming in it. It doesn't give me any shape. I look like a fox. All right, guys, this is another one of my favorite jackets. It's my Don Cherry jacket, I used to call it. Oh, I'm gonna miss this one for sure. The amount of space that I have in between my, my body and the outer of this jacket is cray cray. It, it, this thing could be a tent. Like literally, you could put this up as a shelter if you're getting attacked by a bear or something. It is ridiculously huge. I, I, I'm i gonna miss this one a lot. Um, I used to love this one so much, so I'm gonna be sad to let this one go, but as you can tell, I can't keep wearing it anymore. All right guys, this may be the hardest one to let go by far. It is my favorite jacket to wear. It is everyone else's favorite jacket to touch. It's kind of made of this really, really, really soft material. It almost, I call it my teddy bear jacket because it was so nice to just rub, <laughs> if that's a weird way to look at it, but um, it doesn't actually fit too bad, but it's still frumpy. Like the amount of space that's in this thing uh, that needs to get reshaped is still a massive amount, especially since I'm still losing weight. We're looking at it maybe another 20 to 30 pounds of weight gonna come off. And by that time that hits, there's no point investing in making this thing better. But I am super sad to let this guy go. He is one of my favorites and you know, this is the same struggle in my head. And you guys can kind of probably go through the same process when you're looking at clothes that you just absolutely love and that you think maybe one day I'll hold on to it, whether it's too small or too big. Sometimes you gotta let it go because you're not gonna feel great. When you see it in your closet and you're just going <sighs> frustrated about whatever the situation is around it, that doesn't give you a great self-esteem. So it's better to let it go. Find something else that fits you better. Enjoy that and your body at the point you're at now. And try not to invest too much money because if you're on the journey to losing weight, like me, I had to buy some inexpensive things just to make sure that I can keep re-bringing in new clothes. So, we're gonna let this guy go. 
Nah, super sad about it. <laughs> All right, this shirt actually might look familiar to some of you guys. It's kind of this crazy wild one that I have. We actually did a video probably about three months ago on a natural deodorant, which we'll link at the end of this video that you can see again. But I was actually wearing this shirt in that video. But now it is just way too frumpy to keep holding on to. I do like it, it's fun, it's cool, it's kind of fun to do it outside. I actually have a cool picture that will shoot up right now. And you can see I have this awesome beard, longer hair, kind of a fun video uh, picture. But you can see the front of my shirt is really tight. Um, it's almost like you can see my belly poking through it. Now, you can see, I'll turn sideways, you can tell. See that? All this extra space for what? No point holding on to these. So, sorry, cool shirt. Just gonna have to go. Wow, guys, look at all these clothes. I can't even hold on to them all. This almost feels like the extra 100 pounds that I was wearing before. Now I get to release them all. Uh, we're actually gonna be donating all of these clothes to the awesome company that I posted on our Facebook page if you didn't see it, but it's called Homeward Trust in Edmonton, Alberta. And we're gonna give these to some youth that are homeless. And these are gonna go to a great cause. We're gonna send these off. They're gonna go have another life and they're not for me anymore. See ya! Why you want the strong, it's you. That's it, friend.